Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to talk about 360 degree videos in frame. So to bring a 360 degree video into your frame, you can do it two ways. You can do it directly with the add to this frame dropdown. Now, when you first import one of these videos, uh, it'll take some time to process. So it'll show up as processing for a little while. And then finally, when it's done processing, you will be able to see it and expand it. You can also add 360 videos to your inventory, which is a little stash of your assets that'll always just be here uh, with easy access in your sidebar. So you can add it uh, to your inventory before adding it uh, to your frame. It'll show up in your list here, and then you can add it right away. I've already got a few, so I'm gonna go ahead and add this one here. And you'll see it shows up first as a floating sphere, just like this one. Just like with 360 photos, you can expand these by clicking on them when you're not in edit mode. Now, when you click it, it'll automatically begin playing it, both the video and the audio for everyone that's in your frame. So if you've got 10 people in your frame at once, uh, walking around as avatars or whatever, talking, as soon as you click this, this is gonna expand it and play it for all of them with audio. So I just click this one and you can see the video is starting to play. There we go. Now you have some controls that pop up um, that let you do pause, uh, adjust the volume, and seek. You can seek through the video if you want. Uh, very handy feature in here is the laser pointer, which you can pull out with the P key. So there you have it. That's pretty much it. When you want to go home, as I just did, you look down and there's a return home button that you can click. Okay, that's just right down here. Okay, uh, so that's pretty much it for 360 videos. Um, let us know if you have any questions about them. Good luck.